Okay, I left one window out so I could show how to cut one in if you decide you need one more. So what we've got is, you can see the big heavy lines were already there on the OSB. So my lines are on the left next to the joint. Needed to come in an inch and a half so we didn't cut the 2x4 there that's part of the joint. And then we uh, figured it one way and then figured it another, which is often going to happen. So we do have finally our lines for the rough opening of 30 by 18 inches. So I went ahead and cut those and it's okay to overcut the corners just a little bit or you can do that with a uh, jigsaw if you want. I used a drill big enough to go through the wall so it was a six inch drill bit and that uh, gave me a couple of corners and then I went outside and we'll show you that. Okay, I peeled back the house wrap and uh, marked our 18 by 30 to correspond with the lines on the inside. And now I'm ready to cut that out. Okay, I'm going to use my trusty little handsaw there to cut out uh, the corners to make sure that we're all the way through the foam. And then that piece will be ready to get knocked out. Okay, we have a new window hole. And uh, from inside to outside, they never line up perfectly. Uh, that's okay. We can square them up a little bit if we need to. And when we put the lumber in there, that'll square it up. Okay, in this case, I cut my window opening right next to a stud, or a spline where we connected the panels together. So I only need to add lumber to the bottom the top and the other side. So I'll get my foam burner out, burn some foam out there. You can also just do that with a claw hammer, go down each side an inch and a half or a little bit more with a handsaw um, or a jigsaw and then just rake that out with a uh, claw hammer. Uh, it makes a little bit more mess but that'll work because you're going to put foam back in there when you put the lumber in for the buck around the window. Okay, here's what a foam burner looks like. It looks kind of like an old uh, electric barbecue starter. So we turn it on and it'll begin to melt the foam and that's when we know it's hot. And we'll take out that inch and three quarters or five eighths around all the edges. Okay, I've got the foam burned out and dug out. And you can see it's flush on the inside and uh, the hole is a little bit bigger on the outside. And that's okay as long as we end up with the lumber being the size of the rough opening you want. Okay, once we have it all cleaned up and ready to go, put a bead of foam in there to air seal it. Since it's really difficult to foam anything overhead, I just put the foam on the top of the top window buck and I'll shove that up in there and let it expand in there to fill it up. Okay, I put an extra 18 inch piece in there to make sure we're going to end up with a nice square hole. I'll go ahead and measure everything, make sure I've got my full rough opening. Then I can nail or staple the screw the sides and anything that needs to be trimmed off of the OSB I can do at that time with a handsaw or a sawzall. Okay, now that all the lumber's in there nice and square, you can see we've got a little bit of cleanup to do on the outside edge to make it all match. But that's okay, we can do that. So far we're into it about 30 to 40 minutes. The window is cut, the bucks are all in. I took a rough um, sanding wheel on my grinder and cleaned up around the edges, and we are good to go. Ready to put in the window.